Hello and welcome to a new video about my stepper controllers. Well, I want to replace all those stuff which you see here, except the motors and the Arduino and the input device, of course. Yeah, but the other things I want to replace with this yeah? because this should work the same. So I, the, all those wirings are already inside there, and even more. We will see we have more capacitors, not just one like I have here. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see if this is working. So I will now remove all those stuff yeah, and try to connect it to this CNC shield. So get rid of this all here. CNC shield fits to the Arduino. And now let's insert our two motor drivers. We have to take care that the navel pin is correct. Yeah? It's labeled here. Somewhere here you should be able to read it. Here, in navel. You see this here? In navel. And we have here also written somewhere enable, here. And this enable pin and enable pin should fit, so it fits like this. You should really take care that this fits perfectly, yeah? because if you, you can plug it, you can plug it the wrong way, yeah? you can plug it like that, but then you will burn the driver. This is not. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Now I managed. So one driver is inserted. Now insert the second driver as well. Enable. Enable. Like this is over. Alright. Connect the two motors. Okay. Ooh! What I forgot. Ooh! I Put it out again. This shield, this has not uh, micro stepping. Well, it has micro stepping, but you cannot control it with the board. So you have to use those little jumpers here. And I will put one jumper here in the middle huh? because actually this means here in the middle I put one jumper because actually this means water step, like we have used in the program. All right. Over here in the middle, that's the line or that's the, the switch or the input. Come on. Yeah. So also in the middle, you see, both times, both times in the middle. Uh, because these, these actually are, this is M1 yeah, and M1, uh, MS2, it's MS2. Yeah. And this actually means uh, this corresponds with these labels here, MS2. Yeah? Over here somewhere. You see there is MS2 written and this is corresponding with those jumpers, if they are high or low. And actually what I know MS2 on on high means or MS2 set means quarter step micro step and quarter step and now I can insert those uh -huh, go in now I can connect the, the motors from here and so going here So that's X and Y, it's labeled here, you see, X and Y, yeah. so this should, this should be X and this should be Y, alright, 
Gut. Let's see what happens. Or oh, I also have to add here the power supply. So we have to get in here plus. Power supply added. First, first try. Plug it in. Now the light is on. Light is on here. No smoke, no smell. It's good. Turn it on here as well. 14 volt. No smoke. Not nothing hot, no smell. All right, step one. step one reached, yeah? Don't blow, don't blow the apartment. Or at least don't blow some motor. Oops, already do something. Okay. So this looks already much more decent than before, I would say. Yeah? Let's see if we can make it work with the computer. Not yet, yeah? because I forgot to, to connect also my joysticks. I have to connect my joystick somewhere. Uh, well, and I guess, I'm not sure, I guess, but here is written somewhere. Uh, here we have 5 volt and ground. Uh, so I could use this, and here must be somewhere. I'll steal it. SCL. Uh, here we have SCL and SDA. I guess this is the analog. This A5 and A4. A5 and A4. Hmm. Let's see, Arduino. Okay, A4 and A5. Yeah, should be these two. SCL and SDA. So I will use SCL and SDA. Mm -hmm. These two I will use here with 5 volt plus and minus. Plus 5 volt and ground. Here. Use these cables. So here we have plus 5 volt and ground. And here we have, I connect this to SCL and SDA to expect this are to be analog 4 and analog 5. I'm not sure if this is working, but I'm confident it does. And here we have to connect this plus 5 volt ground like that. The switch will be kept open. Okay, so I should be able to read it in, hopefully. Hopefully. And now switch to the computer. Alright, so what do we have now? Direction pin and step pin. Let's see the schematic. Data shield. Pin out. Ah, here. Step. Step X is 0, 1, 2. 2 and 3 are the steps. Two and three. Let's move this in the right order. And now the direction pins. This would be 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. These do not really exist. The enable pin. Ooh, the enable pin, I think it exists. Stepper. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. These do not really exist because these have maybe made with the jumper, so we are just removing those in here. Mm -hmm. And here we have analog in, what was this? Four and five. Four and five. Hmm. These I have to keep inside because I configured it to quarter step and I want to have the driver in quarter step. Was this already it? I may upload. It is uploaded. Let's see what is happening. I power this. Did something. I move it. Uh -huh. The direction seems to be wrong. Also here, it's always moving in the same direction, you see, the direction pin. But actually the step pin is working, and also the... Hmm, the direction pin is not working. Hmm... Why is that? Oh, I think I have to configure this, this as output, right? <laughs> I have not done this up to now, but I think this should be done in here. Hmm. Maybe I use this here in raw? Step steer pin, step pin, and nail pin. This is correct. And it's ah, that's it. That's it. X. Y. Who? <laughs> it is working. It is working. You see, these, these shields, eh? they are just, re just replacing all this wiring. The only thing you have to learn is how it is wired inside there and they take away a lot of things from you, like, uh, yeah, those, those capacitors and so on. So, I like this. Yes, I like this very much. So we can control now with a joystick X and Y axis of two motors. Hmm. Actually what I don't really like is that sometimes I end up at a different angle a little bit. A little bit a different angle. This is because this noise reduction, okay? This is because this noise reduction we have introduced that it has to be bigger than 10 for also if we move, it does nothing and after a while it is moving. So you cannot just 
move a little bit. I don't like this. Yeah? This is why I want to program a smoother, yeah? so some sort of filter, which helps me sorting out those, those noise, yeah? reduce this noise. This we are going to do in next video. All right. Next video, replace this uh, insensitivity area yeah, with some more sophisticated approach. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.